And we are about to bring in the boss babes behind Lotus and Luna. <laughs> they start an accessory store with the mission to empower females artisans in the north region of Thailand. Come on out, girls! Good yeah. night! Thank you. Thank you. Guys look beautiful. Come on. Thank you. So, who's Janelle and who's Christina? I'm Janelle. I'm Christina. Okay, hey. awesome. Hi. Hi. Are you so far away? We're so happy to be so here. Nice to you. <laughs> so, we have some kimonos here. Can I wear this one? Of course. Yeah. It actually it goes with. Outfit. Yeah, it matches my outfit. Yeah, you guys are twins. And then we can be twinsies. Yeah. Twinsies! Ooh, Look at this. This is sexy. Check it out. Look yeah. at that. You, oh, you've got two there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a greedy. Ooh. Right? I Look like that. So nice. Soft. So LA too. So this is all made in Thailand. Yes. It's all handmade by women in Thailand. All yeah. Handmade. yeah, everything's awesome. handmade. We have two villages that we support. We have one village that does all of our beaded items, so they do mm -hmm. all of our jewelry, and then another village does all of our kimonos, our cut and sew items. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, wow. Because they really specialize. Like, one village will specialize in learning one product, and then they'll teach the rest of the village to make it. Yeah. So they, um, one village specializes in one, and the other one does the bracelet. And, yeah. and how did you girls come up with this yeah, idea? Nice yeah. yeah. It's Janelle's brainchild, so she can... Um, so <laughs> I actually, I, I got the idea from a vacation to Thailand. Um, in 2010, I went over there and I just fell in love with the artisans and I saw all these beautiful handmade items that they were making and I knew that um, I wanted to do something similar and I wanted to help the artisans over there, but I just didn't know exactly how to do it. Yeah. So it took me a couple of years of to really get the idea started and get it Aww. launched. Mm -hmm. so. uh, that's yeah. dedication. I mean, that's it's not a couple of years to get it started. I mean, you, you guys are going now. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. And surely that's affected the people there so much. Oh, so much. Yeah, we have one village now that has about 46 staff members, but oh, they're just so waiting to hire the rest of their village. Like, there's people oh, in yeah, line. Oh, look, we have some pictures there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's okay, amazing. cool. Well, let's see, a lot of the jobs in Thailand, even for older women, are labor-based, like working mm -hmm. in the rice fields um, mm -hmm. or just... Selling food on the street in the city and driving, you know, an hour into the city to work every day and, yeah. you know, these, this gives the, the older ladies an opportunity to work from home and on their own time and take care of their families. We have some single moms. We have yeah. some uh, women whose husbands are disabled, and so they're able to spend time with them instead of driving into the city all day, and, and they get to work together and stimulate their minds and learn new skills. That's amazing. I was going to ask you, as women entrepreneurs, I know how hard it is to start a business in America. How difficult was it to start a business abroad? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, every day it's, is it's, different. There's a challenge <laughs> yeah. every Even this morning, I was talking to all of our artisans in Thailand, but there's always challenges, and you have to just be able to work through them. Mm -hmm. When the challenge is presented to you, you have to be like, okay, I'm going to figure this out, and then I'm going to move forward. So yeah. you really just have to take every challenge head on and just keep going. And so. when, it, when it comes to designs and, and you guys actually getting into the creative bits, obviously the artisans that you work with in Thailand have so much to do with it, but do you put in your own flair? Do you have little, yeah. you guys come together and you kind of collaborate together? We do, yeah, especially for the kimonos. Um, so we'll go to Thailand with certain designs in mind, and we'll have our samples ready, and then we'll have them try to make the different designs that we've come up with. So we're also teaching them. Like, we're always challenging them. We had to make some tank tops like okay we literally have to teach you how to make these tank tops that we want you to make yeah. but then they'll give us feedback too they'll be like you know what I don't think that I think that slit is too long or I think that's like <laughs> because yeah. some girls these, tone it down yeah. <laughs> yeah. these are older women they've been yeah. making clothing for 30 years so they're like I think it could be made better this yeah. way so, so it really yeah. is that's and so it's, nice to hear yeah so it's awesome to get their feedback too because they're really like the experts mm -hmm. but we have the design so it, it is definitely a collaboration yeah. and we have that's to amazing. integrate into the our our customer base yeah. so we we're, you know, we're designing a lot and then getting inspiration from their past designs too. So, yeah. and your and your customers are mainly here in the U.S. Yes, for the most part. Yeah. Um, we're in about 500 stores nationwide now. Oh and, wow! And then our website is rock and rolling too. Thank oh, you. Oh my! Yes, yes. 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 So Where do you guys see your enterprise? Because it is an enterprise yeah. in like five years' time. Um, I would say still doing mostly wholesale, so probably selling to 5,000 stores nice. um, at that time. Nice. Hopefully having like 500 artisans in Thailand working as well. Um, 
And yeah, that's and where it'd I be great too to just have you know the familiarity and you know a household name is always a great goal and yes. like walk into every surf mm -hmm. shop and see our bracelets yeah. would be a huge that's goal awesome. too. And to have such a good message, yeah, yeah. So nice. Build our whole team in Thailand because so right now tourism is down in Thailand. Um, right. So there's so many people yes. who are just waiting to work mm -hmm. and so many talented people over yeah. there. And I love the Thai people. I mean, so does she. We spend I a lot been there of time. Yet, but in I, Thailand. I would love you to should. visit. Yeah. All right, so yeah. we'll be right back. We gotta go, but we'll be right back. Yeah.